Vicky and Trevor, Gatundu South constituency is where we are, and uh, this is uh, the center of activity, or has been the center of activity here, the DCC's premises in Gatundu town. In the last one hour or so, uh, deployment of uh, uh, ballot materials in the 152 polling stations. What you can see now are the last uh, batch, or the, is the last batch before uh, this process is concluded. Uh, we started, of course, with the uh, high, the farthest polling stations. That is where the uh, activity began. What you can see now are the remaining polling stations that are very close, uh, just a walking distance, including where we are now. These are a polling station just adjacent to where we are. The Tundu South constituency has 79,000 registered voters, actually the second lowest number of registered voters in Kiambu County, only better than uh, the Tundu North, there are 71,810 uh, registered voters. Kiambu County in total has 1,275,000 registered voters, actually the second highest uh, number of registered voters by county, only after Nairobi County there is about 2.5 million registered voters. The 12 constituencies in Kiambu County, five of them uh, out of 12 have more than 100,000 registered voters. Of course the highest number of registered voters being in Ruiru at 172,088. So you can imagine the scramble for these numbers tomorrow morning right from the presidential election up to the county assembly uh, positions in the wards that are in Kiambu County, 12 constituencies. And remember in 2013-2017, Gatundo South was the epicenter of action because President Uhuru Kenyatta then under the uh, TNA ticket in 2013 and 2017 under the Jubilee ticket was eyeing the presidency. This time he will be coming tomorrow at Mutomo Primary School polling station as a voter, uh, unlike the situation in 2008. 13 and 2017, when he was actually on the ballot, tomorrow uh, he will be coming to vote for one of the presidential candidates uh, out of the four who are in the state house race to succeed him. Uh, so that is the main difference between how the situation was here in 2017 and how it is now in 2022. All the materials now being dispatched to the 153, uh, 52 polling stations uh, in Gatundo South constituency ready for action uh, in a few hours uh, when the polling stations open at 6 a.m. And um, from 5 a.m., of course, we are told by the presiding officers and those uh, who have been mandated to conduct this election, they will be preparing uh, for the materials and uh, arranging everything to ensure that by 6 a.m. when the voters troop to the polling stations. They will be ready and uh, raring to go. Um, from here, where the materials are being dispatched, they have headed to the various polling stations, the 152 of them, from the very farthest to the closest here. That's where they'll spend the night, uh, just keeping vigil and ensuring that uh, by 6 a.m. when the voters turn up to vote, uh, they will be ready to participate in that uh, exercise. Remember, Kiambu County has been um, the epicenter of uh, political activity, very heavy campaigns be being conducted here, barely, um, of, of course, because of the sheer number of uh, registered voters in this county 1.275 million registered voters and uh, the scramble for those numbers is on of course even the scramble for the governor's seat is on as well as the parliamentary races in the 12 constituencies and the wards thereabout so we'll be uh, on standby here uh, vicky and trevor as we say took a site right from gatundo south to all parts of the country and when president huru kenyatta comes to vote we'll also be there to show kenyans what will be happening at mutomo primary school polling station but Back to you, Trevor and uh, Vicky. Thanks, Gashuri. It's true to Kosaid, by the way. Indeed, we have no choice. <laughs>